Hey, CQR fans, welcome back. We're at Vernon Motorsports in Vernon, BC, Canada, and checking out a 2021 Yamaha 15 horse outboard engine. Another great piece from Yamaha. I know you'll like this engine. I've got one, an older one, and I just love it. Stick around, we'll talk specs. Okay, so this guy is a four-stroke HOCH inline two cylinders, 362 cc or 22 cubic inch. Your bore and stroke is going to be a 63 by 58 millimeter. Your RPM RPM range is five to six thousand. 9.3 compression. It does have an alternator output, a 12 volt at 10 amps, or 6.5 amps at 1000 RPM. It is still carbureted. It's manual or electric start. CDI ignition with a microcomputer. A wet sump for lubrication. You got four positions of tilt at 71 degrees. Through the propeller exhaust as usual and the water and thermostatic controlled cooling system and of course just your forward neutral and reverse your gear ratios are 13 27 or 2.08 with well, this guy you're going to be using just regular unleaded fuel which is good I would definitely recommend using the Yamaha oil though. The 4M FCW 10W30 or 20W40. For the extra couple of bucks, just do it. Just ensure yourself the better protection, especially when it's a machine or a unit that's on water. Totally worth the money. It's a 1.6 liter capacity or 1.7 quart. Your shaft length will either come in a 15 inch or a 20. Your dry weight is uh, 50 kilograms or 111 pounds. This guys is a really, really nice little motor. I have a 2004 version on my 12 foot aluminum Springbok and it just flies. With my handheld GPS, we were able to clock ourselves doing about, I believe it was 32 or 33 kilometers an hour on the lake. And this is a big lake, it's not some little tiny thing, so we did have waves and stuff to uh, to deal with, but... Yeah, I've been very happy with our engine. It just starts every time. I did one carb rebuild on it, and to my knowledge, that was the first one of its life. I don't know who had it before me, I bought it off of a, another dealer, but... Uh, just put a, I think it was an $80 carb kit, just cleaned it all up and it just runs beautifully. And they just sip the fuel. On a regular 20 liter tank or 25 liter tank, I can go a good portion of the day. Ooh, ah. <laughs> so there's your carburetor. This, I believe, is your dipstick. Yeah, that's your dipstick right there. There's your oil fill. Timing belt is under there. This is what engages and disengages out of gear. Fuel filter. This here would be your fuel pump. You got your two spark plugs over here cute little oil filter being a four stroke and your coils and your starter which is uh, extra or an option would actually go into here and here's your tiller handle with your start and your fast and there's the kill switch and there's your lever back here for your forward and reverse. And the typical white Yamaha prop. 
and you can actually upgrade your props too to something bigger or a better pitch so if you wanted to increase your increase your torque or your out of the hole type of thing you could do that or just increase your speed well guys yet another episode of Canadian Quarters Review so appreciate you clicking onto the video and checking this out come on down to Vernon Motorsports and check out these guys and, and whatever products they have it's a beautiful store tons of stock right now which is not usual in these pandemic times but fantastic guys to deal with they are in the last three years under new ownership and, and management they're doing really well treat their customers awesome so come and check them out you'll be glad you did tell them that mark from canadian, canadian quarters review sent you thanks again for watching guys we'll catch you on the next one